Hey guys, it's Amabel, and I actually wanted to show you how to curl your hair with no heat use. Um, I'm a big fan of using no heat for your hair because I think it damages your hair, especially with the chemicals of relaxer and everything like that. So I try not to use um, a lot of heat in my styling. As you can see here, what I did with my hair is I roller set it and I let it air dry as I was, you know, working around the house and everything. So, what I usually do when I want to curl it or make my hair fuller is I finger roll my hair. And I finger roll it in three sections. So I'll show you right now what I do. What I do is I comb my hair back. Make sure your hair is back. And then you want to section your hair in three parts. So you want to do it one side is one part and the other side one part. So, I want to part it on the side, I'm doing this a little half fast here, but, and then, this would be one section right here. So, what I usually do is, I'll curl it up, or I'll just pin it down. It depends on whichever one you use. And you want to use pins. Um, you can use whatever pins you like. I usually use these pins because it's what I roll my hair with. So, that would be one section right here. Using a rat tail comb, I forgot to leave that out. Um, use a rat tail comb because it's good for parting and everything like that. So, you want to part in another section. Which we're going to start right here. And you want to go down. And this would be another section, which I would clip also. So I would roll it up. Again, you can clip it any sort of way you want to. A lot of people have those big clips that they can just put here conveniently, but I don't have those. So I'm going to do like this. Use what you got. So now, the hair back. We want to part the hair as if we were rolling it. And take out the first piece. Well, then you want to comb it down into your face so you kind of know what you're doing. Then you want to use scissor fingers to comb it downwards and then loop it and tuck it into your first finger. It's kind of complicated but once you get the hang of it. like that. So, again, I'll show you. You use your scissor fingers, and as you get down, you want the scissor fingers overlap and tuck into the first finger that is there. And keep tucking and rolling, tucking and rolling. That's how you do a finger roll. So, what I do is, take a pen, and I pin it on the side. And that would be my first finger roll. It's kind of sloppy here, but the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it. And you get to perfect it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finger roll my hair all the way down in this one section. And then I'm going to do the second section, and then the third. So, I will get back to you later after I have finished. Bye.